GBP card analysis. Let me tell you guys, GBP card is a pair that we have a love-hate relationship. Like sometimes I love GBP card to trade it and sometimes it does not cooperate. So GBP card is a pair that can give you a lot, a lot of money. But again, if you don't, uh, if you don't look out, it can wipe your account. So let's analyze GBP card. We'll start from the monthly. This is current market. Again, someone suggested I analyze GBP card and that's why I'm doing it. Keep uh, suggesting on the comment session. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, and yeah. So from the monthly time frame, something funny happened. GBP card for me, what I know it's a sell. I'm a very strong sell. And I'll tell you why. We have that double top above there. That's our neckline. And this is our half. Apparently, our market should reach half. According to our strategy, should reach half. So what happened is that when this market activated, for two months failed to give us an entry, went above, and then all of a sudden came down with a bearish engulf candle. And this bearish engulf broke even an area of support. And immediately we got bearish engulf. Everyone was hoping the market is going now. It is going to sell. But oh, and to everyone, the market bought for another two months. There is something that you need to understand. Uh, if you went on lower time for maybe you would have known why the market didn't sell. And because that's not the video of today, I just tell you, whenever you see a bearish anchor breaking an area, you need to go to lower time frame to look not to have activated a new pattern around this area. So we were given an entry, but it took two months for this market to go up. And the third month, the market started to fall down. Now, the market is at that area where you're seeing it. It doesn't like it, it came and activated a new pattern, but we are just thinking and, and asking ourselves um, what really happened. The market has to, at least, even if it won't go to half, where the break of structure happened and not down, not somewhere. GBP card has a high possibility of going back 1.66 and the market is at 1.68. So we have a chance of selling 200 people. GBP card has a possibility of selling more than 250 pips because of that double top. But we don't mean that we go on uh, by selling immediately. We have to do time frame alignment. Time frame alignment is what will govern us. So you come here and you find the sellers have been selling one, two, three, four for five weeks now. And they broke this kind of a support. If you zoom it, I keep telling people, make sure you zoom your trade so that you can see there's a break of structure. So the market um, broke, the sellers broke that support, making us understand that sell is what the market makers want it to happen. But after the market broke, we can see this green candle. We don't know if it's a retracement or something. The, the good thing is that uh, on the weekly, no pattern. But when you go to daily, we have a very clear pattern, guys. Very clear. So let me delete because our pattern is here. I want you to observe our pattern is on the daily time frame. GBP card, if you want to make money, daily time frame should be your friend. So we have GBP card on the daily time frame and it has activated a double a possible double bottom. So we have a, double, a possible double bottom like that. So that is a possible double bottom. So we have a possible double bottom. So that is what we got. Now, that is our half, and this is our neckline. So the question is, guys, we got a very big bearish bullish hang up giving us an entry to buy, but uh, when we went on four hour, the same uh, double bottom had formed a double top and that's double top, that's what made the market not to go up. So if at all we want this market to buy, we need to break out of this ranging. You see this ranging? There's a ranging here. 
we need to break out of this range. And you can see it clearly on the daily time frame. So if at all GBP card will buy, if at all it will buy, because it's not a must it buys, you need to understand that anytime you have a pattern, the market can break out and then reach half, break out half, reach neckline, break out and complete the double top. That is one case scenario. The next case scenario is when we have an inverted, inverted cup and handle, when the market comes and breaks below and goes down. So I don't want us to be biased. GBP card is a buy, GBP card is a sell, no. Just be open and say, whichever direction this market will break to, that's where I'm confident. So if it breaks above, I'm confident. If it breaks below, I'm confident. So I'm, I'm showing you this so that you can add it on your watch list. This January, what are you looking forward to trade? You know, many people just, they trade everything. I like trading at least some two pairs that I will, I will pay attention on. So GBP card is one of the pairs that I'm really trying to figure out. What do they really want? Because if this market breaks out and uh, we are talking of breaking out of that box. So if the market break out of this box, it means that it is going that distance. Nothing can hinder it. So even if it breaks above, above, like they break above, the market can continue. You can spot GBP card buying crazy. So that is our first indication that this market can buy crazy. Can buy crazy. If it breaks on the downside, guys, notice that monthly is supporting the, that sale. If it, it, if it is breaking on the downside, all these are distractions. Like we won't, we won't really care because when you look on the, on the weekly time frame, if we try to look on the weekly time frame, the last obstacle of this, the last support to, to even mind is here. That is our last support. So when you go to daily, if that market breaks out of here, we are selling it up to here. So this is to tell you to add the GPP card on your watch list. Make sure you are looking at it and be patient. You know, when I'm giving you, this is another, I want you to analyze and call it. I want you to call it, make sure you call it like that to, 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 do, to do something to your brain. So first of all, I want you to be marking your zones, like if it's a double, if it's a possible double bottom, mark it. If it's a neckline, come and mark it, neckline. And then you mark your half, like have everything in play. That is our half. So just have everything in play. And then I want you to mark on top there, GBP card, GBP card, GBP card, daily OPT. When you say daily OPT, we already know it's one pattern on one time frame. So GBP card, daily OPT, it means one pattern on one time frame. And the minute you do this, your work is to flip every single day. Like I'm reducing your times that you'll be coming to analyze GBP card. Why? You just need to analyze it once a day. You just need to analyze it once a day. So your work is to come and check, did they break? Did they break below? Did they break above? Kindly comment down below, which, which direction do you think GBP card will break. For me, I'm not biased because they can do either and if they break above, that one the market is going to buy. They break below the market going to sell. So for me, I am not biased. But I would want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think will happen, guys? Do you think this market will break above or will break below? So uh, again, the way GBP card will behave, it will really matter with how GBP USD is behaving. As you know, GBP USD now is selling, so GBP card might follow it, it might sell. Because if GBP USD is selling, it means pound does not have power. It means pound that is not strong. And when GBP card pound is not stronger, 
the HBP card will sell. So all the best, add it on your watch list and hope we will trade it. When I'm coming back to analyze GBP card, I will come back to tell you what has really happened. I'm coming back to give you update. Thank you and bye-bye. Love you.